Hello everyone, my name is Laura Nakamine and I'm currently enrolled in the Botany 450 Writing Intensive course. Today I will be going over my final project on endangered and threatened species of Hawaii, which I chose to present in a form of a calendar for the 2021 year. As this is a printer-friendly PDF, I tried my best not to put my name on there or any um, other links. So there is a def different separate document for my references for the pictures as well as the information that was submitted and emailed. So each month I chose to focus on a different endangered species. I have their Hawaiian name as well as their common and scientific name. So for January, I decided to focus on the honu or the green sea turtle. On the next page, we then have the month as well as the days and we have their status and their IUCN ranking as well as their abundance in the Hawaiian Islands and in the rest of the world if that species is applicable and their threats to the population. So for the honu, for example, they are threatened and indigenous, and on the IUCN list, they are endangered. They are located on all Hawaiian islands with about 90% nesting on the French cricket shoals of the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands. And these are a bit of the threats that people might not know about as far as diseases, habitat degradation, fishery bycatch, and human disturbances. For February, I chose to focus on the Blackburn Sphinx moth. They do not have a Hawaiian name that I could find, but they are endangered and endemic and one of the largest native Hawaiian insects. And their abundance isn't well known due to their short lifespan, so it's a bit hard to determine. Next, we have the Hawaiian coot for March. They're endangered and vulnerable and they're a small endemic water bird and they're known to be on all of the Hawaiian islands except for Kaho'olawe. We have the Hawaiian crow for April. They're endangered and they're extinct in the wild. So there are 114 individuals all at the Maui Bird Conservation Center. Next we have the Hawaiian duck for May. They are endangered and endemic to the Hawaiian islands, found on all islands except for Kaho'olawe. A threat that I found very interesting was that um, the Hawaiian duck is actually mating, hybridizing with non-native ducks. So what people are trying to do, they're trying to reduce the number of the hybridized ducks so that it's full Hawaiian duck. Next we have the eel or the Hawaiian hawk for June. They are endangered and near threatened. Um, if it is unclear of what the rankings are for the IUCN list, I do have a slide on the bottom that goes through the rankings so people aren't confused if they don't have um, a background in that. Next, we have the Hawaiian hori bat. For July, they are endangered and indigenous, and Hawaii's only native terrestrial mammal. They're found on all main Hawaiian islands except for Niihau. And of course, we have the Hawaiian monk seal. They're endangered, and by the IUCN list, they're critically endangered. And they're on all Hawaiian islands with the most um, habitating or living in the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands. And then we have the nene, the Hawaiian goose for September. They are endangered and vulnerable. And there are currently around 2,450 to 2,550 birds left. And then we have the pu'eo, the Hawaiian short-eared owl for October. They are endangered and endemic. And their abundance is a bit hard to predict as well, but it was predicted that during the 19th century, there were 
there is a large population of them. And next we have the Oahu tree snails. This is just a genus. Um, and this right here, the snail, he, his name was George and he was the last of his species before he went extinct in 2019. So that's a bit of sad information that I discovered. So um, they are endangered and critically endangered. And there was a total of 41 species total, but 22 are now extinct and 18 are near extinction. And finally, we have the short-tailed albatross for December. They are threatened and vulnerable, and they're one of the largest seabirds found in Hawaii, and there are a huge abundance in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. And that is the end. Um, on the final page, I guess, if you were to print this out, as I said, this was the printer friendly version. I do have a list of terminology and notes about the calendar. So on the left side, I briefly go over the IUCN red list of certain species. It's just a ranking of um, species given after evaluating their extinction risks and their population sizes. And the levels are as follows. So people can, I guess, see how far down or far up the list a current uh, species is. And then on the right hand side, I do go over the terminologies as far as endemic, indigenous, and then the acronyms to so the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands and the main Hawaiian Islands. So as I said before, this is the printer friendly version. Um, each page would be on a regular um, 8.5 by 11 printer paper and they can print it front to back or however they want to keep track of the days and keep track of the endangered and threatened species that we have here in Hawaii. Um, as far as the references, I did submit and email a separate document. I separated the photo citations and the information citation. So, I hope this calendar can be used by many as it's going to be uploaded onto YouTube and online. Thank you so much for listening.